Welcome to our channel. Welcome to another one of our videos. This Saturday we have another live coverage at 10 hundred hours. If you missed the last one, we'll place it down below in the remarks. Today we're going to cover Upstart Holdings earnings that just came out. After hours, the stock dropped about $3 a share. Let's hit the short interest real quick before the earnings. Short interest currently is around 36%. Very high. So you're going to see a lot of volatility in the stock. Let's go through the numbers of this Q2. The co-founder and CEO of Upsart stated that this quarter's results are disappointing and reflect a difficult microeconomic environment that led to funding constraints in our marketplace. In response, we're taking the necessary actions to build a more resilient and committed funding model over time. We're committed that our AI-based risk model is more accurate than ever and provides the opportunity for long-term sustainable growth. The revenue was $228 million, an increase of 18% from the second quarter of 2021. Total fee revenue was $258 million, an increase of 38% year over year. Bank partners originated 321,000 plus loans, totaling $3.3 billion across our platform in the second quarter, which was up 12% from the same quarter from the prior year. Conversions on rate requests was 13% in the second quarter of 2022, down from 24% in the same quarter of the prior year. Income loss from operations. Loss from operations was $32.1 million, down from $36.3 million from the prior year. Net income was a loss for GAAP of $29.9 million, down from $37.3 million in the second quarter of 2021. Very much of a disappointment here. The GAAP diluted share loss per share was $0.36, cents and diluted adjusted earnings per share was $0.01 cent based on the weighted average common shares outstanding during the period. Adjusted EBITDA was $5.5 million, down from uh, $59.5 million in the same quarter in the prior year. Share repurchases. Upstart repurchased 3.5 million shares, uh, totaling approximately $125 million. The third quarter of 2022, they expect revenue to be $170 million, a contribution margin of approximately 59%, net income of approximately minus $42 million. Adjusted net income, minus $9 million. EBITDA, zero, flat. Basic weight, average share count, approximately 81.5 million shares. Diluted, average share count of approximately 85.5 million shares. But this next article is going to sum it up for us. Upsar provides soft Q3 guidance. Q2 earnings miss on funding constraints. The company stated they're going to have a revenue of $170 million, far below the $246.6 million. So this all sums it up here, guys. One thing in our favor here is the tangible book value is around $800 million. And we're trading at about three times book value. The stock is not too expensive, in my opinion. But this setback at the next forward earnings is going to come in less than this earnings and they're going to have troubles going forward probably because of the interest rate environments and stuff like that i would stay on the sideline right now in this stock at least give it a couple of days to average itself out if we get back to the 22 range 23 range i'd be a buyer in that area let's go over our trades we're in sq for this week square because of earnings uh, we have PayPal as well for this next for this week, and we got Reblocks, which is going to be declaring earnings this week. Uh, we sold our Meta. We picked up two hundred and eighty dollars today. Coinbase, they're going to be declaring earnings in the next forty-eight hours or so. We're going to see what happens here. I have protection on the downside. CHPT, I closed that position today. Picked up three hundred and seventy-six dollars in cash. SoFi, I have another protection trade I already showed you guys. 
for this week. Silver index fund. This option expires next Friday. And I also sold a put against her. NTR for the 16th of September. VERU for the 16th of September. And then for January, I still have stone. PBR. I think I ended up selling this thing for a profit for about $300 today. I'll have to look and see if it went through or not. And then AEM, again for January. And so far this month, it's not even been two weeks, we picked up $2,494 worth of premium or cash flow. Let's look at our tracker. Where's our cash flow? For August so far, we achieved $3,000. $659. And of that, $1,763 is profit minus the cap loss of that one option that we lost $146 in. Comes out to $1,617 so far this month. And the second week's not even finished yet. Last month was only $1,900. We started getting back into it. I appreciate everybody watching our video today. Please place your comments down below. But please share your trades with us down below. Until next time, folks, this is Sunny. I'm out.